Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Where we last left off, I had just progressed through the first couple of levels and I did a live stream on Twitch and I was able to get through a few different levels. So I'm, I'm finally level 12 uh, and I got the wolf armor back. So I am excited. I don't have to wear that weird witch, uh, the, the enchantment, the evocation robe, uh, which I didn't like. <laughs> I really didn't like wearing that robe, but I'm ready to get started. Let's go ahead, dive in. I tried plugging in a remote control to see if I could do uh, the remote control, but you know, I got a big fancy PC for a reason. And I'd, I'd really like to get a little bit better at playing with the mouse and keyboard, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing here. So uh, just a quick uh, go over some of the things that I'm doing here. So there's little numbers by each of the weapons and armor that I'm using and uh, the inventory items that I can use down here uh, every so often. But all of those numbers actually give me more power. Uh, if you've ever played Destiny before, it's kind of like the same thing. So I didn't realize that until now or just recently. And it actually, I'm actually going to be going through a bunch of different pieces of armor. During the live stream, I did get a diamond sword. There might be a way to, you know, break this down and get, you know, or increase these levels at a later point. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, in Destiny, I know that you can, like, increase the level of a certain item that you really like to a better uh, level, especially, like, more unique items. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick to this uh, Dancer Sword, which I got in the live stream. If you haven't seen the live stream, it's still up on Twitch, so go ahead and go over to my Twitch channel, Alan Perez Live, and, and check it out. But for now, we're going to get started with this equipment. I have fishing rods that are stronger than some of the items that I've got down here, but I really do not like the fishing rod. What does this one do? Death cap mushroom. Greatly increase the attack of a movement speed. Uh, we're going to stick with this stuff. We're going to stick with this stuff. We're going to be fine. Uh, the only missions that I've done, as you can see, are the Soggy Swamp and Creeper Woods. I did unlock Creepy Crypt and Soggy Cave. Uh, these were extras uh, from, from the Soggy Swamp and from the Creepy Woods. Uh, we're not going to go back and do those. We're going to go over and we're going to do uh, Pumpkin Pastures for now. And we're going to stick to higher level. What's the recommended power? 22. Let's just do 16 for now. Uh, I'm happy that I increased my level. Uh, but in this level, it looks like I'm able to get swords and sickles and uh, the hunter's armor. But let's go ahead. Let's dive into this. See what else is happening in the world of the Minecraft dungeons. We still don't know what this guy's plan is. Uh, the Ark Illager. But I'm sure we're going to find out soon. The Illager raids have roasted this once lush land. To ruin. Only one village remains unspoiled in this corner of the world. Make haste, hero. You must warn the villagers there of the battle to come. You are their only hope. So it looks like these villagers don't know what's happening in the world around them. So let's go ahead and let them know what's going on because we don't want them to get hurt. I'm using this bow that shoots out three. Um, three bows at one time. Super convenient when I'm going against, like, tons of different mobs at one time. Can I not go through here? There we go. It's nice that it only uses one arrow versus three arrows. So I get a pretty good bump from that. So I was on Twitter the other day, and I noticed uh, somebody that I followed actually built a minecraft map and ported it over to minecraft dungeons and i'm wondering if i'm able to do that i mean like the worlds that i create aren't very good but i mean there's like some there's some uh extra types of like there's different types of cobblestone here like look at the floor right now there's uh the dirt and then there's like till dirt uh then there's the soil the with the grass uh, but look at this tree. That's totally different types of leaves. And then the floor here is like dirt and cobblestone, which is really sweet. I mean, I'd love some of these textures uh, to be ported over to Minecraft. That yellow tree? Come on. That's sick. Look at this cool place. Uh-oh. Here we go. The art villager is here somewhere. There it is. Oh, there we go. 
I might be playing on a uh, difficulty that's a, probably a little bit too easy. Um, hey! They got my dog really easily there. Oh boy. There's an evoker here somewhere. I don't know where. that easy I guess yeah some of these mobs are beginning to be pretty beefy with some of their uh, with some of like the equipment that they're wearing Ugh! they hit pretty good do you think I have a second to check my inventory here maybe maybe not uh, level 20 longbow 33 to 99 what strong charged attacks Ooh, but it's really weak should I try it? Let's see what it's let's see what it's like. Alright, here's a long bow in action. Ooh. I mean it's strong, I'll say that. Even the beefy guys like can't. Ooh. It is slow, but it does increase the power that I have pretty good. So I think I'll use it I'll use it for now. Ring the warning bell. All right, looks like I've arrived at the town. Get out of here, everyone. Go. Before the arc. Oh, here he is. I feel like I'm just always a, just, just a little bit too late. Just a little bit. the heck was that guy? Gotta get rid of these guys. Get him! Get him! Ooh! These evokers are pretty strong. Don't expect fights like that. I never do. Just go on to fight another day. Here we go, pumpkin guys. You're free. You can fight another day. I, I don't realize this, but I really need some friends to play this game with. Uh, because this is getting to be pretty tough here on some of these levels that I'm playing on. Windhorn. When the windhorn echoes through the forest, forests of the overworld, the creatures of the night tremble with fear. So do they just like run away? Is it good? 22. Ooh. Do I get rid of my dog for that? Be a sad reason to get rid of my dog, wouldn't it? Oh, and there's a new guy, Wandering Trader. <laughs> Do you have any leads? <laughs> Market trade. Get a random artifact appropriate for your level. Okay, let's let's do it. Really? That wasn't fair. I just got that. Let's try another one. Boots of Swiftness. Power 19. They're not strong. That's all we'll do for now. And then we'll talk to the blacksmith. Maybe he's got something that's nice for us at our level. Ooh, rapid crossbow. New reloading technology helps this crossbow fire more rapidly than those that came before it. That seems pretty nice. 21 too. Will that increase my total level? No. Only 13, 13 range damage. That's really weak. Ooh, look how fast it shoots though. Look at this, This that's insane. You! Nah, we'll stick with this bow. I think that's fine for now. 
I did not find any extra levels, but I'm sure there are, and I might come back to this during some of the live streams that I do. So if you aren't following me on Twitch or on YouTube, uh, make sure you do uh, because you want to you don't want to miss those live streams when I'm when I am live. And we're gonna do Cacti Canyon next here. It looks like I can get the longbow and a mercenary armor. Um, recommended power twenty two. Should I should I go for that? I mean, might as well, right? You know what? No, let's crank it. We want the better gear anyway. You get better gear when you're doing the harder levels, um, the more difficult tiered levels anyway. What the heck is that witch thing? Is this an extra level? Power the beacon. The distant temple. This this is cool. That's the first ever beacon I've ever activated. Fake and real. Minecraft. Dungeons. Not... You know what I mean, right? You know, if this place is such a secret, how come there's so many guys here? Oh. I don't know if I like this, uh... Some of this new gear that I had to choose. It doesn't work well with each other. Oh, 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 oh! What is going on? No! I don't like this. I do not like this. Shoot. Can I increase this leeching? I'm going to increase the leeching because I need a way to get some of this health back that I am losing quite fast. You know what? We're going to return to camp on this one. I uh, definitely bit off way more than I could chew there. Not ready for that. Let's go back to Cacti Canyon. And we're going to do the recommended one for 16. I think that'll be a lot easier to do than the 22 that I was trying to do. I am level 20, so... What's so important here that you guys are all protecting this? If I don't get anything good from this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cutlass. 25? 36 melee damage? Reliable combo. Freezing. Slows mobs after... Hit for three seconds. I wonder what that's like. Might as well enchant it. You know what? Actually, there's also this one. Chains. Has 30% chance to chain a cluster of mobs together and keep them bound for a short amount of time. Um, one second duration. One 1,000. Does that seem long enough? I don't know. Let's actually do the... Let's do the freezing. There it is, yep. Oh, there's a key over there. <laughs> I miss my dog friend. Find the golden key. That wasn't the golden key, that was a blue key. There's that dinosaur sound again though. I guess I still have to find more keys. 
Oh, there's my key. Oh! Hey! So there must be another key somewhere then. I he yeah, I hear another one for sure. There we go. So look at that. He comes on my back. Ah! <laughs> it looks so silly. No! Oh, I used that key right away. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys. <laughs> that pterodactyl sound totally throws me off. I have no idea what to think. I need to regenerate for a second here. Hmm. Crossbow. Uh, Range 54. 13 versus. I have to switch to it. I mean, look at this. It's increasing my power, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely increasing my power. Uh, any other things that I got here that can increase my level? Make me a little bit stronger. I really don't want to equip this. Will it will increase my level? Oh, I might have to use this fishing rod. Oop. For the power, I guess I'll use the fishing rod. I have to use the fishing rod. fishing rod. Look how silly this looks. No! This archaeologer hates me! Alright. We found the temple. At least. <laughs> I am having... Oh, wait, wait. You know what? Before I open up that, I think I got some... Look at this. Spelunker armor. 88 health. Ooh! Gives you pet bat. I like pets. The Spelunker armor is worn by those who brave the darkest depths of the overworld. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Look how silly he looks. He's got a candle on top of his head. And we get a pet bat. What should we name our pet? <laughs> what should we name our bat, guys? Uh, that's pretty neat. And then uh, anything else that I got? Nothing worth trading out yet. I don't know if this was like a side quest. Really not necessary to the story. But uh, we might find some better loot in here. And let's see what we get from our little treasure chest. Corrupted beacon. The corrupted beacon holds immense power within. It waits for the moment to unleash its wrath. It's stronger than the mushroom. 151 artifact damage per second. One soul gathering requires souls. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait till uh, the next episode to see what that little corrupted beacon does. But thanks again so much for, for hanging out and uh, seeing another one of these episodes. Uh, there's no, I don't think there's too many more missions. Uh, I'm doing a lot of the grinding harder parts of the of the game on the live streams. So uh, I have been putting out polls on some of my different pieces of social media. And so far, everyone's saying, do the, do this, do the live streaming on YouTube. And... <laughs> I've set up OBS, uh, open broadcasting uh, software, to record to Twitch so far, uh, but I might switch it up to YouTube. Um, I've only I've only streamed on Twitch once, so I'm not really losing anything by switching over to YouTube. But with that being said, uh, I hope you guys uh, subscribe and hit the like button if you did like this episode. I'm happy that you guys hung around and watched me play a little bit of Minecraft Dungeons. I've got a few more episodes coming out, and uh, I'm 
thinking about diving back into Minecraft. Uh, I'm doing a few different things with that and thinking about what to do and how to do it. Uh, all my Minecraft worlds were deleted and they're gone from my previous uh, computer. So I need ideas, maybe some servers that I could possibly join. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.